Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, I'm going to be trying out a map that as soon as I saw it in my suggestions, I knew not only that I had to try it, but that it had to be experienced in VR. And that's GMT Farmland Final, also known as GMT Farmland Twister. And this, guys, is a Storm Chaser map. I have no idea what this is going to look like yet. I deliberately looked at as few screenshots as possible, but people were saying that this is really cool, and I can't wait to try it out. This has got to be so scary in VR. Uh, made by Starscreamtron. Okay, got an off-brand Decepticon making this, uh, which I guess is just fine. Now the question is, what do these buttons and doors all do? That sounded like it affected the sound somewhat. <laughs> I should probably get outside before I start messing with buttons, right? Oh, the thunder, the lightning, the rain. I almost feel like I have to shout over it. And trying to shout over it makes it feel like I'm trying to do some kind of news report. Which I always wondered, do they really have to be out there in that weather when they're doing that? Seems unnecessary. But anyway, I don't know if I'm supposed to just be walking around, waiting for something to happen, or... If I have to go find something or make it happen. Now, one thing I should probably be thinking about before uh, we see a tornado touchdown is where are we going to take shelter? Because I, I really hope that there's some kind of mechanic where if we're in the right spot, we won't be affected, or at least we'll be a lot more likely to survive. Uh, probably under bridges or in basements would be a good place to start. And it looks like there's a lot of that. I've yet to figure out the actual scale of this map, but it must be pretty big for something like this to work effectively, right? I can see what looks like a lot of buildings on the horizon. But it probably makes the most sense to head towards the closest one. I feel like my commentary is a little bit scatterbrained right now, but that's because the sound is so loud, but I don't want to turn it down because I feel like that would take away from the experience. Uh... Open up. Uh, that's good. Really hurt my frame rate at the same time. Uh, look at that flag waving above. I have to say, this map really has that Midwestern atmosphere going for it. I launched it once just to see how it would run, because it does require a lot of games to play, like the content loaded. And I believe a title came on the screen saying that it takes place in Oklahoma. Come on. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody home, but hopefully they have a basement. Come on. You guys have got to have some kind of basement somewhere. Uh, imagine being caught up in a storm like this, desperately running to the nearest building and just frantically searching through it, hoping that it has a basement. I feel like in places where tornadoes are common, it must be required by law, right? But this isn't real life, this is Gary's mod, and I may not be so lucky. Come on. Oh, this map is really uh, taking a lot out of my system, not getting the best of frame rates. Uh, the store page, or the workshop page, did warn that this might be the case. Apparently it does take quite a lot to run. What? What? Does that sound mean something is touched down, or is it just because I'm here? Whatever, I gotta keep moving. If I have to bail on this place, I want to do it sooner rather than later. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a tornado watch effective until 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for planes. That's not good. At 1151 a.m., Doppler radar detected a thunderstorm. This isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. Also, that may actually, believe it or not, be a copyright issue of all things, uh, because uh, I believe the emergency... Not, not copyright, but I believe it's actually not legal to play the emergency alert system yourself. 
I think there was actually an episode of The Walking Dead that got in some trouble for that. Uh, okay, maybe a cellar behind the barn? I'm just going for the closest thing, but of course I'm always keeping it in the back of my mind that these bridges are nearby. There's gotta be something somewhere. <laughs> this is actually a real panic. This is pretty cool. <laughs> There's just this like growing dread, like knowing I don't have a place to hide yet, but it it's out here somewhere. It's coming. Uh, nothing here, nothing here useful. I may have to get under one of these bridges. Wait, is that a shelter? Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, kind of cramped, but it might have to do. Of course, I don't know if these doors will hold uh, if it comes right over me. Uh, which begs the question, uh, does this map have some kind of destruction? Because, like, it takes a lot to run, but it doesn't look that visually insane for as pretty as it is, and... That building, uh, there's something really sus about the way the geometry looks. Huh. Uh, the warning has stopped sounding. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Running out here is probably not the best idea when it comes to finding out. But there's no way I'm just going to wait it out and not see it touch down. If it's not going to, I might as well keep exploring. For all I know, I had to push one of those buttons. Now, I was talking about how this is capturing a really great terror of desperately looking for shelter, not knowing exactly when the twister is going to touch down. Um, it's probably a slightly less relatable feeling for Midwestern audiences, uh, not knowing if you have to cause it first before we can get the show on the road. What about the gas station? Does it have a shelter? There's also a garage off in the distance. And another barn and a set of silos behind it. Got some more sound effects going on. <sighs> Listen to that. Just walking up on this abandoned gas station with the emergency alert sounds playing throughout the empty parking lot. Canadian, Kingfisher, Oklahoma, Logan and Lincoln County. Several severe thunderstorms have been there is nothing to hide from here. I don't like the look of these shadows. Those look like creases on the walls. I think this might actually be... I, I'm starting to think this place is actually destructible. You're a farm in rural Oklahoma. You have to have something. How far out do these roads stretch? into the ditch. Maybe a cellar in the back of the farmhouse? Hop the fence! Where is it? Come on. Uh, indoor entrance. Got a, got a bank on that indoor, indoor entrance. Whoa. Uh, this is strange. Do we have ourselves an amateur storm chaser here? I wonder if these displays can actually be made to function. But nothing here either. Okay, what about the tractor store? <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Farm Simulator. Okay, a thought just occurred. When the tornado touches down, are these things going to be flying about the map? There's a thought. A thought which I hope to be underground in order to not test.
You know, there's something really eerie about this map in particular being empty. Kind of feels like everybody got the message ahead of me, and now I'm the only one who hasn't fled. And at this point, I'm starting to suspect that you do, in fact, have to start it yourself, so... If it doesn't touch down this time, I'm gonna try and no-clip back into that spot where we started and see what we can do. Uh, sometimes you need to cause an apocalypse yourself. Were the clouds doing that before? Were the clouds doing that before? Oh, look at that. Oh, no, no, they weren't doing that before. Oh, no, no. Oh, that is horrifying to observe in person. No, 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 no. Uh, well, maybe just a little. I gotta close the door at the most dramatic possible moment, or else what's the point? <laughs> I suck at survival when there's an audience to impress. Oh, look at all that debris being thrown around. Oh, the absolute scale of that! That is some incredible custom work going on! struck by this. I'm, I'm like a moth to the flame right now, but oh, look, I think there's like a big rock being carried up in it. I wonder how much of that is particles related to the entity itself, and how much of it is like, part of the map. I wonder, are those trees uh, going to remain? Oh, I think it's getting closer. It's getting hard to tell. Of course, I feel like at this point, uh, it would be far too late. It does take the trees, it does! Uh-oh. I, I need to see if it destroys the barn. It does! Close, 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 close. Alright, uh, huddle in the corner. Huddle in the corner. Oh, it's deafening, the sound of it passing over me. But just as quickly, it's gone. <laughs> Any second, I'm gonna get a knock on the door. Pizza delivery. Uh, I'm not falling for that. That's how they got my Aunt Edith. Right, well, I don't hear anything anymore, but it might still be close enough for me to get taken up in it. I'll wait another 30 seconds or so, and then go out and survey the damage. I wonder if it is possible for it to pass directly over and pull the doors off. I, I don't know to what extent its path might be randomized. But that would suck if you could have, like, that long-shot chance for these doors to fail. Imagine being huddled down here with, like, 10, 15 other people. Not knowing if that's going to be the outcome. Well, let's observe the damage and start taking pictures for insurance. Huh. Oh wow, it completely laid waste to the barn. Look, part of the roof is lying on its back on the side here. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, this place actually... It's not as bad off as you'd think. I mean, I would think that the whole place would be completely flattened, but if you were under here, I guess maybe you would have had a chance. Then again, I suppose you might also have been pulled out. I'm not quite sure how it interacts with the player yet, or at what distance that occurs. Any other damage? A whole bunch of trees thrown around in power lines, but... All in all, the damage doesn't look too bad. Although it looks like some of those cars might have become projectiles as well. That was really cool, how we saw the lightning hit the power pole before, all those sparks flying off of it. But, it looks like the bridges survived. 
Look at that, there's pieces of the barn roof, even as far as over here. But so far, it looks like the barn is the only thing that's been destroyed. Maybe you have to wait multiple cycles to really see the full extent of the damage. I'm not sure if it's on a slightly randomized timer or if it's on a regular schedule. Oh no. The weather station appears to have suffered some damage as well. Oddly enough, the building did, but the tower seems to be in perfect shape. Do we still have power to open the gate? Huh, that's good. I guess we're running the backup generator. Hey, uh, your front door was open. Look at this. I feel like I say this in just about every video now, but I am continually impressed with the things people are able to do in Gary's Mod. This has to be the best bang for your buck on Steam by far. Wait, can we, uh... Are, are we gonna be able to platform up into the attic? Uh, no, sadly. Well, kind of, but uh, this is a dangerous little game we're playing here. I can feel the roof segments shaking and moving under me. Yeah, this place is well and truly wrecked. Uh, the rest looks pretty untouched, though. I <laughs> now that's so odd. I, I saw this boat lying by the, r the riverside before. But it looks like some cars have now joined it. Is that one overturned in the water right there? Yeah, look at that. Good thing no one was in it when it landed here. I'm just imagining this map being utter chaos in multiplayer. People fighting over places to hide. It seems like that one shelter is really the only thing that could reliably work for you. No, it seems to be pretty much completely intact. Even still has the power on against all logic. But I think next time, I want to try surviving someplace... I don't know, a little bit more unorthodox. Somewhere where we're going to get to see a little bit more action. Someplace riskier. Alright, here we go. I waited around a long time for this. According to the workshop page, they're on timers of 2 to 10 minutes, which is a little bit annoying. I went back to the spawn area, and none of those buttons do anything. They're just for, like, cleanup, resetting, and all that. As well as changing the cameras on the display in there. But we are ready, and this time we are doing the opposite of hiding. I want to see what this is like. Oh, and apparently there's also, like, all kinds of different tornadoes that can occur. Oh, look at that destruction tearing the roof off of the weather station. Almost like an act of revenge by nature itself for daring to try and understand it. Uh, but I'm not running this time. I am fighting this head on! I got the idea from a guy. You know the one. Hmm. I didn't really have a backup plan. So, uh, that's a shame! <laughs> I forgot they do that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh my, it seems I'm dead. Well, might as well embrace it. I wonder what'll happen. Oh, look at that. At least I get a show! <laughs> Whoa, that is horrifying! Whoa! <laughs> I guess I win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I only lose 10 health per fall. It did some damage to the barn and the house next door, but the silos seem to be fine. I'm pretty sure those are props, and that's why they don't really have the same destruction physics. But look at that, it carried the roof of the, uh, of the observatory all the way over here. The weather station, I mean piling it all up against this fence, which apparently doesn't have the same destruction physics. 
Some hay bales still rolling in the breeze. Oh, this is so cool. I think for the next one, I'm going to try to play this map the way it was intended. When the next one hits, I'm going to be ready, and we're going to go full Storm Chaser. Trying to follow behind in a vehicle to see what that's like, and... Honestly, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same, except we have even less perceived nobility for evading it with dexterity. But it'll nevertheless be pretty cool trying to keep our distance while at the same time doing the exact opposite. Which, as far as I can tell, is pretty much the Storm Chaser skill set. In order to accomplish this, we'll want to head over to the outskirts of the map so that we'll have the best possible view from a distance to see this thing touch down. Now all we have to do is wait. And wait, and wait, and wait. Uh, I'm not controlling this acceleration right now. <laughs> the last thing I need to have in right now is maximum overdrive. Alright, where's it at? I'm ready. I think we got it. There it is. Let's move in and see how close we can get before it causes a problem for us. Who could keep their eyes on the road when doing this? I guess you kind of count on everybody else being someplace smarter. How close can we get, though? Oop, spinning out. Oh, come on, you're really gonna hang out in that corner where there's nothing to destroy? Nah, come on, come play, come play, come play, come play, come play. Ah, oh, you coward, get back here. Uh, but maybe in a in a slightly later fashion? Ah, oh, I think that tree wasn't really a prop. Come on, back this way. Back this way. It, the, the size of it makes it so hard to tell where exactly it is. Whether it's coming closer or it's just perceived due to the speed of the motion. Let's get a move on. And it's gone. I've just enabled a command that a user claims will spawn a random tornado. So I guess we'll just wait and see what we get, find out if it worked. Surely we'll be safe in this barn. Nothing bad ever happens to barns during tornadoes. is how long from the alert to actual touchdown. Can't really get a view from up in the loft. Actually, I can't even figure out how to get into the loft, so all I can do is peek out these windows. Oh, that's gonna be... It's gonna be close. I guess let's just see which direction it travels. This one seems to be coming and going. 
Probably laying waste to that farm in the distance. Huh. <laughs> the one time I want to be utterly annihilated by a tornado, it refuses to come near me. I must have scared it off with my rockets earlier. Basically, what I really want here is to see what it's like to be inside a building as it's being torn apart. Please don't dissipate right before you arrive. Aw, oh, come on. I'm gonna have to spawn another one. This is the most boring weekend ever. What happens if I put in the command twice? Uh, bad things, apparently. That was extremely quick. Not even a warning? Oh my, this is a pitch black cloud. Look at the size of that! Look at the absolute size of that! This is such an ambitious map, and it's so cool to mess with, especially in VR. Come on, this way. Right this way. I want to see you take this building. Looking out the front door, seeing just a wall of what might as well be pitch black smoke. Uh, but a wall of pitch black smoke that's going the wrong way! Uh, did I speak too soon? Yeah, a little late on the warning, guys. Maybe next time try having a better roof. Come on, right over here. Right here. Come on, do it for the vine. Come on, do it for the gram. What an image. That debris all swirling around. Getting closer and closer. The window is being blown out as the roof is torn off above me! <laughs> oh, this map is so cool! This map is so cool! Oh, it's still going on! Watch out for the debris! Oh no, maybe this is- Oh no, it's two tornadoes! <laughs> That's right, I tried spawning two and it actually worked! Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool how all different types are included. What did it pick up? Huh. Sadly no witches for that piece of the barn roof to land on. But that was GMT Farmland Final, a.k.a. GMT Farmland Twister. And what an exciting map for VR. I'll put it this way, this map is totally worth it if you use the console command, which I'll put in the description, because otherwise you'll have to wait around for a long time. Of course, that random factor is probably very much useful uh, in an actual multiplayer server, but if you want to play around with tornadoes, you'll probably want that command. I am always impressed with the stuff people manage to do with this game. It's like every map has potential to be another game all its own, and it's all totally free after the cost of entry. Oh, that was just an absolute terror. I I've been against all kinds of terrifying things in VR, but to actually be put right in the midst of such a force of nature, that's a new one for me. And I highly recommend you try it out as well if you get the chance. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to download this map for yourself, that will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Oh, look, it completely destroyed the gas station as well.
All right, uh, you, you already heard it all. I'll see you in the next one.